Okay, so hi everybody, thanks for tuning in for another Essential RC flight test. Now, this is uh, kind of a bit special for us because this is going to be the first, the first quad that we're, we're ever looking at in Essential RC history. Um, we're going to be looking at a lot more quads over the next 12 months and this is really at the, the bottom end of the spectrum and uh, this was a bit of a surprise to me, it was a bit of a surprise to Harry who I've got here as well because uh, his mother bought it for him for, the, for Christmas and I don't even know anything about this so Harry's going to unbox it and then we're going to play around with it, see what it does and we're going to go up all the way up over 2016, all the way up some uh, high-end quads racing quads, uh, quads that carry uh, cams around and we're going to be uh, comparing them to everything else even to this little quad that we're looking at now so let's unbox it and see what it does Okay, so here we go. This is the, the quad. And this, I should have said right at the start, this quad is from Revel. Uh, and Revel are known for their static plastic kits and not so much for anything radio controlled. So it's a bit of a surprise to see Revel on, on the box. But uh, what do we get out of the box? Harry's holding it here. And uh, I know, it's t the first thing, it's, it's tiny. Um, but apparently this does do some mild aerobatics and we're going to read the instructions now, find out how to charge it up and then give it a fly. Okay, so we're back, we're all charged up. Harry, how do you, how do you charge this thing up? Uh, so this charges via USB. So you get a little USB uh, cable, plug that into the, uh, quad, into the quad and that into the USB port and it charges up. Takes how long? Uh, 35 minutes. About 35 minutes and you get some spare props which I suspect we'll probably need because we have no idea how we can control this thing. Okay, so uh, Harry, switch it on, let's have a go. Okay. So controller on first, yeah. Controller on first. Quadcopter on. And we've read the instructions. What what are the controls here? So to there's thr that's throttle on the left, which is what's normal mode two. And you've got side move sideways and forwards and backwards, and then that was rotate, wasn't it, Harry? Mm-hmm. Okay, go on then. Give it a go. Right. You go and fetch it. All right. Where's it gone? Right under the table. Yeah. Not easy. That's a <laughs> yeah. So that's not not easy to control. It's going to need a lot of practice. Uh, and this is inside, no wind, and I'm still finding it really difficult, but it could be because I'm a complete novice. <laughs> so 
So the, where it does aerobatics as well? Doesn't it do a, a loop or something? Is that what these buttons are for, Harry? I think so, yes. Uh, I th this one on the left. Oh, what's that done? Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's it? Oh, it might be because it's on easy mode. Oh. It like gives you a countdown before it does it. I say, if you just a few minutes, you get your get your head around it. Oh! <laughs> so that was fun. After we charged up the quad for the first time via the USB, and we put in four AAA batteries into the controller. We've flown it around a little bit, we're getting more used to it on easy mode and it has a medium and expert mode as well. And it has the little flip function on the top right button of the controller. Um, so that was that was fun as well, although not really enough height to do it here. You really need to do that outside or somewhere with a higher ceiling. So a good little toy for £15 and that's what it is, it really is the toy end of the spectrum. But we're going to be looking at a few more quads in the near future. I would urge you to have a look on uh, my friend's site uh, channel, Dutch RC. He's got a review of reviews of quite a few entry-level quads that you might find quite interesting. Otherwise, we're done with this review. Uh, the controller comes with this nice little uh, feature where you can put the uh, the quad inside and clip it shut, and put it on the shelf until you want to have another go. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.